Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Grounded. Uh, honestly, the game, uh, it's it's really easy to have a lot of FPS in this game, but the problem is the stuttering. I'm getting some random drop when I was playing the game, so I'll show you how to optimize your game to make sure that you have some stability in your FPS. So first of all, we will start with Optimize Windows. After that, we will go inside of the game. I will show you a couple of tricks and we will finish with the config file because you don't have a lot of option in the game and in the config file, you can optimize a lot of different uh, graphic parameters. So I will show you on Steam and also on Xbox. So let's start. First of all, uh, the first thing that you want to do is removing the game mode. So right game mode, put the game mode at off, the game bar at off, and the capture background recording at off and the recorded audio at off. Second thing, honestly, just like remove all the those overlay that you're using. Uh, I know a, a lot of different people are using the Discord one. Remove that. It's causing a lot of issue in a lot of game. Remove also the overlay from NVIDIA. You can keep stuff like, uh, I don't know, uh, MSI Afterburner, like uh, software that you're using for your FPS. That's fine. But not like a huge uh, overlay with a lot of different options. So really important to do that. Also really important, make sure that you're making, uh, you update your driver. So if you have Nvidia, AMD or Intel, make sure that you have the latest one. I don't think that they release uh, uh, a driver uh, update for this game right now, but probably they will in the future. So really important to make your update. One last thing, right GPU in your uh, search bar. So this one, the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, I have a dedicated video on my uh, channel about it. If you have the latest version of Windows, really important to do it. Put this one at on. If you didn't do it before, you will need to restart your PC and it will be activated by default for the future. So that's about it for Windows. Uh, we will go inside of the game. I will show you a couple of trick, but uh, honestly, we will... Uh, we will do a lot of stuff in the config file because you don't have all the graphic parameter uh, in the game. So let's go in the game. So now in the game, go in option, display. In the window mode, make sure that you're using the full screen one. Don't use the window full screen. You will have some stuttering because of this one. So really important to use full screen. Resolution, it really depends on your monitor. So for me, I have a 1080p monitor. That's why I'm using the 1080p resolution. But again, after my guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, probably you will need to lower your resolution if you have, I don't know, an integrated video card on the, on the laptop, something like that. So really important to uh, think about it. Quality, uh, honestly, just put it at Epic. The thing is, right now, you don't have a lot of options. It's just like epic, high, medium, and low. So you can't really change your shadow, foliage, and stuff like that. You have to do it in the config file. I will show you how to do it uh, after that. Uh, but the weird part is when you go with epic, everything would be at tree. So for example, shadows equal tree. That means your shadow are at epic. Uh, so that's why I'm using epic because all the graphic parameter will be at tree. When you use something like high, medium, or low, it's pretty random. I'm putting high and I see some two, some one, some zero. So it's very inconsistent. So that's why I just put epic and after that, we will change whatever we need to change. Another weird thing is the frame rate limit. Uh, if you have a 144 Hertz screen and you want 144 FPS, you need to put 160 to have 144. They have some kind of bug over there. Uh, it's really weird. If you put 165, it will be at 160, as you can see. So it doesn't match the number that they're saying. So just put 160 and you should be fine. But anyway, uh, again, in the config file, you can write the amount of FPS that you want. V-Sync, put this one at off. Motion Blur, put this one at zero. Maybe if you like motion blur, you can put some, but honestly, it's really intense motion blur in this game. So that's why I'm just removing it. Uh, field of view, I'm using 90. I don't touch it. Again, you can go higher if you want to see more in front of you. And the last one is render scale. Uh, just don't touch it. One for one, 100. Uh, if you go, uh, if you decide to downscale this game, you will see that the game looks blurry and it's a, you will see even some pixel in it. So don't do it, just like lower your resolution if you need more FPS. So that's pretty much it with uh, the graphic parameter inside of the game. Now we will go in the config file. All the fun is there. 
So now the config file, and we I will show you the uh, Xbox version uh, of it. So uh, normally they are using the package and the app da data, but for this game it's a little bit different. You need to go where you install the game. So for me it was the F drive, WP system, the string of number, app data, local, package, Microsoft main, uh, local cache, local, main again, save, config, and win, and buy, and deal, whatever. Um, so you really need to open this one, the game user setting over there. Uh, this is pretty much where uh, you have all your graphic parameter. So as you can see, you have a lot of a different option over there. Those ones are really important. Because you put the game at Epic, everything will be at 3 here. This is pretty much what I'm currently using to optimize my game. So let's start with the view distance quality. This one takes a lot of resources. So just by the way, 3 equal Epic, Epic, sorry. To uh, two equal I one is medium zero is low, so uh, for uh, view distance I really like in those kind of games to see further in front of me. So if you have like an integrate video card and stuff like that, just go with one. Don't don't go with two or even zero uh, because it will take a lot of resources. It's three to four FPS uh, by bracket. So if I compare three to zero, you can gain a lot of FPS with that. So really depend uh, where you're at right now and how many FPS that you currently have. Anti-aliasing, this one I'm putting at one, it's 2% for each bracket. I feel I don't see a big difference between one and three, honestly, and uh, I'm getting more FPS, so that's why I'm using one. Shadow qu quality, this one is m the most important. It's 4% for each bracket. So if you put your shadow quality at low, you will gain a lot of FPS, like 12%, so it's really good. Uh, Post-processing quality, this one I'm putting at 1, didn't see a big difference between 1 and 2 and I'm getting 2% two, uh, 2 more in my FPS, so that's why I'm using 1 for this one. Texture quality, not they don't have a lot of crazy texture in this game, so I feel like if you have 3 gig and more, you can go with Epic if you want. Uh, if you have like uh, something like with 2 gig, go with higher or medium, and for sure if you have like just 1 gig of VRAM, go with 0 or low. Effect quality, I'm using uh, I for this one. I didn't see a huge increase in my FPS, but if you have some struggling with stuttering, even after all the changes that I will show you, uh, go with one or even zero because for sure effect quality affect your uh, drop of FPS. So if you uh, have a lot of issue with it, just go with zero for this one. Foliage quality, this is pr probably the second most uh, important uh, Graphic parameter after shadow quality. This one gives you like 3 to 4 FP uh, person by bracket. So again, go uh, with 0. If you really need uh, a boost in your FPS, you will gain like 10%. So really good to boost your FPS with the foliage. Uh, shading quality. Uh, I did a couple of tests with this one. It's a little bit weird. I f My game is just more stable when I go with 1. Uh, so that's why I'm using one. I didn't see a big increase. It's like one to two percent for each bracket, but uh, my game is a lot smoother when my shading quality is at one. So that's about it, guys. Uh, I will show you also to, to, to where you can frame limit over there. This is pretty much where you can write the amount of frame that you want. So that's what I, I was telling you uh, inside of the game before. And the other thing is uh, the HDR display output. Make sure it's right, it's false. I don't know why in some games, uh, sometimes by default it's true and you're losing a lot of FPS because of it. So just make sure it's false if you're not using the HDR. After that, you save. You click X. Um, you, you saw like a, a message because my, right now you really need to do that. Right click on it, properties. Click read only because you want to block the file. That's why they was asking me to create a new file. Uh, the thing is, uh, when you go inside of the game and uh, you, I don't know the game, like if you is doing an update or you just resave something, sometimes it can override your uh, graphic parameter because you did some customization and the customization doesn't exist currently in the game. So they will probably wipe your uh, settings. So that's why you need to re put the, the file in read only. Click OK and you're fine. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question about Grounded, like uh, how to like optimize a game, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.